arriving in Nyokolofo in Tonga Tapu went friendly and with Tongan time. We followed the smoke and found Sabrina's chicken Vilo Vilo, a takeaway serving freshly barbecued chicken, pork and lamb. It is mostly served on manioka, kind of like potatoes, and some vegetables, which is a plus since normally veggies are not on the menu in Tonga. Portions are large and for a price we cannot prepare it ourselves on the boat. So we became supporters of Sabrina's. Have you ever seen a palm tree with more than one trunk? This was the first and only one yet for us. Tonga and religion are synonym. Many churches everywhere and singing which fills the air regularly. Befriend the locals and you might be invited for a special feast of pig roast, like we were for Mother's Day. We took the local bus and went to watch the blowholes perform. It was great. The whole coastline is pierced with blowholes and with the big southern swell of the Pacific Ocean battling it, a magical wave of continual orchestrating blowholes shoots in the air with a phenomenal sound. On our return, we strengthened our inner beings with some freshly barbecued lamb at Sabrina's Chicken. Delicious. We stumbled upon the changing of guards practice in front of the king's palace where I fell into the grass covered potholes in the lawn. The bus dropped us at the Haamanga Trelithian, also known as the Stonehenge of the South Pacific. What an amazing piece of architecture! There are many suggestions for the why. But what intrigues me is how did they move this apparently 30 to 40 tons per pillar of stone from another island to this place? Next bus stop for us was the raised tombs terraces from a previous ancient dynasty. And back in Okolova we visited Sabrina's again for some tasty barbecue chicken and headed home. Along the waterfront is this friendly shop where with chainsaw and chisel beautiful carvings are made. Wes Dover signed the good luck engraved fish hook which now adorns our living room. We visited Fafa Island Resort. They have a daily water taxi to Nikolova. What a peaceful and exciting luxurious place in stone's throw distance from the main buzz. During our stroll of the island, we came across Koki parrots. They originally came from Fiji, having a high trade value. Pukekos and Waka paraded on the lawn, and the fruit bats didn't even wait for dark to perform their crawling along the branches to the fruit. As the sun went to bed, the birds chirped a lullaby wholeheartedly. You might be lucky and witness a festival of local traditions. But you don't need luck to find the daily beating of the tapa and watch how they make wood cloth. Visiting the deserted honeymoon island of Tau was magical. When the whales are there, they are everywhere. We did have the closest and interesting encounters with whales in Fafal. And we did spend most of our time in the Hapai, where island life is still original and snorkeling fantastic between the fascinating beautiful coral.